Hi, this is Rick at Electromotive Mods. A lot of people have asked how I hooked up the auxiliary battery. So one of the products that we make is a wiring harness. It taps into the bike where the controller and the battery connection is up here. It goes down the down tube, around the bottom bracket, comes up the seat tube, and then it goes here to what I have is a battery combiner I call the FBC, Fusion Battery Combiner. From there, there's uh, one jumper wire that goes to this box. This box contains the battery. It's got a quick release jack on the outside, a switch so that I can switch it off. I even have one of my former products, a little inline voltmeter. And then the box here seals the battery. I'll show you inside. The battery stays clean and dry. So there's one of my batteries in here, one of the smaller ones, a 14 amp hour battery. That gets me about 50 miles of real world range. I also have my electric air pump in here, the hose for the air pump. You can see the voltmeter here and the switch. That's pretty much it inside, except I should mention there's a charging port back here because an auxiliary battery requires separate charging. It's no big deal, easy enough to do, but the batteries are not charged at the same time. So you can see it's, it stays clean inside and it's sealed up. It's easy to close. There's little locking tabs. At the back end, I have some of my lighting that I used to uh, make and sell. So that's all tied into the uh, bike's battery as well. Underneath, there's a 12 volt converter, a step down converter that runs all the lighting these lights are uh, also turn signals and a brake light, so they utilize the existing brake levers for brake lights. I have a X shifter, so I have electronic shifting that has its own cable that goes to the shifter, precise quick shifts. Otherwise, it looks pretty stock. There is a, an actual motorcycle horn as well. Um, I have two lights. One is a wide beam for going on single track at night, I ride in the desert mostly and uh, a lot at night. When it's 110 degrees at night, you can imagine what it is during the day. The cockpit here is uh, fairly simple. I have this accessory bar on top of the handlebars that helps me, uh, gives me space to mount the camera. I also have a USB charging port that charges the camera. And then I have a tire pressure monitoring system that's just uh, something I mounted on the headset stem. It's a great location. You can easily read it. That's quite important for riding in the desert because flats are very common. And I should mention, I have set up tubeless tires so that I can fix them on location very easily. In under five minutes, I can fix a flat without taking the tire off the wheel. It's very uh, quick and easy. I've also upgraded the brakes. So they're 203 millimeter rotors. It's Magura and uh, also four piston calipers along with the uh, brake levers as well. This really helps stopping distance since I ride off-road and there's a lot of descents. The brakes make a big difference. Here's the rear mounted one as well. So you can see that. That's pretty much it. A lot of uh, mod ideas for you. Uh, hit me up if you need some sources for parts or want to find out more about the uh, wiring and the auxiliary battery. Thanks for stopping by.